Hello everyone, welcome to another video from eTech Viral. So in this video, we are going to learn how you can drag and drop widgets in Flutter. So initially we have this empty page by putting first thing first, let's cover the first steps. The first thing we need in our application is just to import the Flutter material package. And the next we need an method which will be our main method. So this is our main method and this my app will be a simple stateless widget in which we will call our material app. So that's our stateless widget, simply a class and we are calling material app here or returning and here this home page will be a stateful widget. So we have created our home page also which is a stateful widget and now let's start by removing this container from here and put the scaffold here and then also create an app bar here. So that was our initial steps. Let's move to the body part. So inside the body we have the column and inside this column vertically we are going to have two boxes. The first box will be draggable and the second box will be the box upon which we will place this first draggable box. So first let's start creating the draggable box. To create a draggable box for that Flutter provide us a widget which names draggable. So this is our draggable widget. This provide us three properties which is child feedback and child when dragging. So basically these are the stats of this draggable widget. The child is initial stat and the feedback is the stat when we drag our box or widget and the child when dragging is the stat when we drag the box that will be the origin of the box. So that was a little bit theory. Let's see it practically. But before this we need to add some containers on this child feedback and child when dragging. So let's do it. So we simply put some containers in here and let's run the emulator to test them practically. So as we have decided we are gonna have two boxes in place but first we got our first box which is now draggable. Let me show you when I drag this just like this you can see its color is changed now. Now the feedback stat color is applied and the blue color is of the stat child when dragging you can see the color is blue because that's the origin left and now when I leave it like this its color is changed to red and now that's the initial state which is the child. So we got our draggable box but there is no second box to place this draggable box upon that box. So let's also create this box. This will be our drag target widget. So let's create it. So we got the drag target. Here we have a builder which returns the container, the same width and height and the yellow accent color which looks something like this. Now if I want to drag this first box and drop it in here so that first box color will replace on this second box. So for that I simply have to give it some generic type which will be color and also for this draggable widget that will also be color. And inside this, there is a property which is data. This data will accept a color. Here we specified the color red. And now let's create a variable here outside the build. That's the variable which stores the blue color. And this blue color will be here just because we are going to change it in a while. And inside this drag target, there is another property which is on accept. On accept, this will take a parameter data and this will return and will set stat to update the UI and the color which is blue will becomes equal to the data which is red. So that's great. Let's test it. Press Ctrl S to hot reload and let's try it out. That's the first box. I dragged it. Its color it changed and its origin color is also blue. So let's drop it on here and its color is changed to red. You can see it just like this. So they are really overlapping with each other. So let me give some spacing between them by putting size box between them which will be height about 20. Press Ctrl S to hot reload again. And these are the box. Let me hot reload the application. Let me hot restart the application to test them again. Okay drag this box and drop it here and its color is changed. So now I want when I drag this box and drop it on this second box, 
I want this first box to disappear. Like now this first box is replaced here and there is no more first box. Like this first box is replaced on second box and this place is now empty. So to do that, we are going to have a boolean variable inside this build which is final on drag equal to color. This will only be true when the color is blue just like this and then wrap this draggable widget with ignoring pointer this tag a parameters which will be our on drag and again wrap this draggable widget with the opacity which has a widget opacity so now here we will say on drag if it's true so the opacity will be 1 otherwise it will be 0 so press ctrl s to hot reload and check it out okay hot restart the application set everything so we have now these two boxes Let's drag it and drop it in here and the first box is disappear like it's replaced on the second box so that's how you can drag and drop between different boxes or widgets in flutter i hope you have found this video helpful if so show some love in the comment section and also let me know if something is not clear to you for now goodbye and i will see you in the next video